So let's go and study how to make fiber optic in this place. From my point of view, it should of course be microdox instead of these PVC pipes. So this is the ducting technology being used. Those PVC pipes are just pushed together and then fiber cable will be installed by hand. It will be fit into the ducts manually. And here you see how much space such a 110 mm pipe takes in the trench. You have to make a rather large trench. And as I know a PVC pipe, it's rather stiff. So I'm wondering here, how will they make this bend? How will they follow the curve of the road? That will be difficult. Unfortunately, it's weekend, so I don't see the guys work. But when I see this, I know what they do. The white and the yellow stuff there are Kevlar, uh, where they use as pulling rods. And these pulling rods they use to pull in this 25 mm pipe. As we can see, it has been pulled here. And then they take the cable into this manually. And also, often we see that fiber optic cables is being put into those corrugated pipes. And again, you will have to feed the cable manually into the pipe. No cable blowing is possible in this system. And as you can see here at my outside warehouse, this solution is still being used quite a lot.
Teil ist ja einfach, dass sie ein bisschen weniger Widerstand sind. Ne? Ich habe schon den Versuch zu erzählen, dass sie das einfach nicht mit der Hülle da nur, nur einzeln los sind. <lacht> los auf der Trommel, wäre ein bisschen leicht. Wir haben einfach die Ketten runtergenommen, dann äh, Räder stattdessen. Ne? Ja, ja, aber die Ketten, die wird dann, äh, wenn sie dann ein bisschen gleiten ist, dann läuft sie ganz schlecht. Ne? Ja, ja, genau. 